What do you do when avalanches wipe out your power line towers? If you're working in Kamano in the 50s, you don't rebuild them, you fly steel cables over mountains instead. Back in January 1955, a monster avalanche crushed a chunk of the Kamano power line, took down towers, cut the power to the smelter, and wrecked millions in damages when the aluminum froze solid. The fix? Forget towers. They strung a cantonary, basically giant steel cables that crossed the avalanche zones. Massive cables anchored from peak to peak, stretching over 3,800 feet across the Kildala Pass. Then they hung the actual power lines underneath it with insulators, way up high, where no avalanche could touch them. And they built a damn helicopter pad on top of the cantonary for maintenance crews, because why not? Picture trying to sling steel cables across mountain cliffs in the 50s with helicopters, Sikorsky S-55s, flying through freezing winds, hauling gear, and fighting gravity the whole way. It's insane. This was one of the first times this kind of system was ever built, and it's still holding strong today. Built by badasses, built to last. If you respect builds like this, you're in the right place. Follow for more.